And Matthias, uh, where he is, I really enjoyed listening to your, or reading your blog as you made your way here uh, over email. So congratulations guys, um, uh, and welcome to uh, uh, Connect Q4. So uh, I'm just going to do a, a few minutes really just setting out some of the, some of the more uh, administrative, administrative side of things and then hand over to Kiko just to um, go over some of the uh, more engineering side of things. Okay, so um, please stop me and ask questions wh whenever you want, okay? So I've got, I've got a bunch of things to go through. If there's things you don't understand, particularly if it's the first time that you've been to uh, one of these events, then do just stop me and, um, uh, and ask away. And I just wanted to start with, with this picture, and I know you can't really see it, uh, but a lot of people have been asking me uh, this morning already, so, um, you know, okay, what, what should I actually be doing while, while I'm here this week? So, so really I just wanted to explain it. If you look over on the right-hand side, uh, in the morning we've got uh, sessions running uh, all through the morning on various different topics. Uh, so each of the... Uh, the team leads have got uh, their own uh, individual track and they have uh, different topics running throughout the morning. Um, we also have uh, the, the summits that George referred to uh, this morning as well. Um, we have lunch uh, at the same time every day, one till two, and then we have plenaries in the afternoon. I'm going to just take you through those uh, in a, a couple of slides' time because it's a little bit complicated because we're doing things with um, uh, with Ubuntu as well. Uh, in the afternoon, um, basically these sessions are uh, engineering um, uh, hacking sessions, for, for want of a better word. And uh, basically each team is going to be gathering in uh, the rooms uh, down this end uh, of the corridor and uh, working on common problems together. So if you are uh, not part of Lenaro uh, engineering team. It doesn't mean that you can't go to those sessions. You are extremely welcome uh, at them. Uh, the guys will uh, involve you. They'll help you to uh, get set up, maybe sort of be working with them or uh, talking about problems that are uh, particular to either your company or to the part of the company that, that you are representing if you're uh, one of our members. Um, the, you can subscribe to particular sessions or you can just uh, go along and um, ju just show up to them. There's, a, there's no entry requirement to actually go into uh, a particular session. The, the other thing I just wanted to point out is the uh, schedule on the top um, there, uh, which is the, uh, the, the Lenaro schedule. So if you ever want to see the live Lenaro schedule, uh, that's the place to go. Uh, the other area that you can see them obviously is on the monitors that Matt Waddell has uh, uh, got up and running for us uh, this week. Uh, just some important notes to, to go with uh, the, the week. Uh, first of all, um, it's worth checking the schedule pretty regularly. Okay, It can change. Um, I, I, I believe that, um, that there's actually a, a limit being set this year so that um, there won't be any changes on a particular day, but I'm not going to guarantee that, okay, so don't come and tell me off afterwards. So I think basically um, that the schedule should be stable for a day, but it's still worth checking it um, at the end of each hour just to make sure, oh, okay, um, that the, the one that I'm planning to go to is still scheduled at, at, at the same time. Um, you can also download uh, your own personal schedule. I sent out an email about that the, the other day. Uh, if you've got an Android phone. Um, I've heard some comments that the... Um, uh, I can't remember what it was called. Guidebook? The, the guidebook, that's right. It, it, was, it was fixed just uh, just the conclusion of lunch, so it should, ah, be, okay. should be okay. Okay, so it's a guidebook should be... You, Joey has uh, uh, got that sorted, so that's good news. Um, so, so I think either using the, the, the guidebook thing that John I referred to this morning or uh, downloading the, the Lenara app is, is the way to go for your own uh, personal schedule. Um, if, if you want a particular session during the week, um, that, that's absolutely fine. We, we can have additional, additional sessions going on during the week. Uh, all, you, all you need to do is to raise a blueprint 
and uh, get it accepted by the, the, the relevant track lead. Um, and uh, it should then get auto-scheduled into the week. If you want it at a particular time, then uh, you need to speak with Armin and she can actually uh, pull the session in to, to that time. Just one reminder, remember to put the book with the correct name of the tracks, otherwise it's not going to show up in the schedule. Yeah. So people are not going to be able to schedule Yeah, I think that generally if you are um, wanting to schedule a, a particular topic, then um, it's worth actually speaking to the track leads. So it might, might be just a good opportunity just to get the track leads to stand up. So um, Ricardo and Zach, is, is Zach in the room? Yeah, okay. So they are leading the Android and the... Oh, that was Paul. Well, yeah, he looked like Zach when he turned his head away from me. Uh, okay, so if you want to raise an Android or a platform group uh, track, you now know lo what Ricardo looks like. Uh, you'll hear what Zach looks like. Um, so uh, it, it, you're going to ask either of those guys. Uh, graphics and multimedia, if Jesse and Ilias could stand up. So if you want to raise a, um, one of those tracks, then go and speak to those guys. Uh, Colonel, is Deepak in the room? No. Okay, well, Deepak has got long hair and he's sort of brown skinned and he's sort of out here, so he's, he's pretty recognizable. <laughs> 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 we have that on tape, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Amit, is, is Amit Kachiri in here as well? Okay, so the Colonel and Power Management guys in here. Yeah, that's right, they're, they're, already, they're, they're already off, uh, already, which is good. Um, Michael Hope, the tool chain, uh, is just down here uh, at the front. Uh, for general tracks, then I think you speak to Joey at the back, and probably most people already uh, know Joey. And I can't think of I've forgotten any now. So, so we, we've, we've provided a bunch of equipment for all the different rooms. If you do need more equipment, oh, there's Deepak. You missed my description of you, Deepak. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, we, we've provided a bunch of equipment for the engineering rooms. If you do need any extra equipment, then please uh, just go and ask uh, Arwen at the front and um, we can pop out to, to one of the shops and, and get it for you. Um, so, if, if you've got people at your companies who want to listen into some of the sessions, or just anybody you know who'd like to listen into some of the sessions, that's very much possible. Um, you'll see the microphones at the uh, front of each room. Uh, basically, every session is recorded and it's also streamed live onto the internet. So, uh, if people want to listen in, they can. They can't talk, they can only listen, but they can contribute uh, by, um, uh, by IRC if they go onto the, the, onto the relevant IRC channel. Um, we also have uh, conference phones. So, if anybody has a session where you want somebody to dial in and you want that person to be able to talk, uh, then um, some of the rooms are already scheduled, uh, already have got phones in, uh, and you might be fine there. If you're not sure, then again, speak with Arwen, uh, and she can help you make sure that you've got a phone uh, in your room. Um, I should have taken out that question mark. Uh, people can't dial into the rooms. The only way that they can actually um, uh, go on to a conference call is if we set up a bridge uh, from here uh, using one of the canonical uh, conference call lines. Oh, I've mentioned that already. So you're, you're very welcome uh, if you're um, uh, outside of our working groups to, to participate. Um, uh, just one thing, we're, we're rolling out a, a tool called Ripple for um, uh, the, the Lenaro engineering team. Uh, that's basically, well, we'll talk about it in more detail on Thursday, uh, but it's, it's a way of trying to uh, bring together a lot of the, the values, the goals, the, the culture of Lenaro, and um, also bring together a lot of um, how we do performance uh, evaluation and, uh, and management within the company. Um, it's really important that you register for one of those sessions so that you can just hear a little bit more um, about the vision within the company, but also uh, about how the tool's going to work um, and also you've got an opportunity to ask questions about it there. And 
Final thing, you'll, you'll have seen on our displays that we've got the, um, uh, the tweets, the twit pics, the vlogs going on. Um, it'd be really nice to see, uh, particularly a nice number of vlogs going up. You know, if, if you've never written a blog before, then Michael, who's standing up over there, would be only too delighted to yep. <clears throat> either ghostwrite it for you, or <laughs> work with you on it, or let you write it yourself and get help get it published. Sure. Um, and it's, it's a nice way, particularly because a lot of the teams are getting down and doing a, an awful lot of work, and then people like me are not really quite sure what, what's going on around the different groups, and that's a really nice way to, you know, in the evening to be able to go and read uh, some of the stuff that, that you guys have been doing this week. Right. One yeah. If someone has some really important session and wants to get the word out, a lot of people I can recommend sending that to LWN.net. They are really grateful that they get good articles that they can publish. They, I, I've done a few of those, and that's usually a thing that helps everyone. They even pay money if that's good. Yeah. I noticed, at least on my hacking room, that people are left in their notebooks there, and even before joining the session. So it would be good if people could carry it over all around, because we have a lot of people here, and not just for an hour, zone, just like we had in the, in the previous dinner connect. So it would really be good if people could take care of at least their own notebooks. Like we just pointed to the laptop in that period. Yeah. For me, it was right. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, and particularly watch the art boards as well, because um, they're in short supply. Yeah, we, we don't want to lose anything, but arm boards, your laptop, your notebook, they're the things that really stop you working. In particular, are the hacking rooms possible? I mean, is there a chance of leaving things in there overnight and having them secure? Uh, I th definitely overnight, yeah. Okay. So, some of them were locked over lunch as well. <coughs> Um, so I, we, there was, that question was raised earlier, um, and we were told that even if you close the doors, the, ho the, the doors will not auto lock, but they will should lock overnight, and it's uh, a function of the cleaning staff. So we can contact the hotel staff if we specifically need them locked, but it's not unlike the belfry and other places where we could just use key cards. We don't have that feature, unfortunately. I, I think in general, if you're not sure, take it with you. Okay, then then you. Then you know. Um, <clears throat> the, the plenary. So uh, basically, um, today, tomorrow, and Thursday, uh, the plenary talks for Lenaro are going to be uh, in this room. Okay. Uh, we've got some really interesting talks coming up this week, actually. So there's going to be um, some of the guys who are um, part of Lenaro now, but also. Um, some external speakers coming to speak, so, so it should be really uh, interesting um, on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, on Wednesday, uh, we're doing a, a, a joint sort of keynote plenary with uh, Canonical, and that'll be in the, the room where we have the introduction and George's keynote this morning. Um, on Friday, uh, there's a thing called Lightning Talks, which is basically a series, I think, of very, very short talk, I think maximum 10 minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Um, so that's a great opportunity, if you've done some really cool work this week, to, to get up there and tell everybody about it. And um, not just all of us lot, but, but everybody who's been at the conference. No slides. Um, ah, okay. No slides. And the... Right, okay. You can get it set up in five minutes. No. <laughs> okay, so, to, so it's, it's a very good opportunity to just get up there, tell everybody something exciting, uh, and get off. Um, uh, there's a guy called George Castro who organizes that schedule. Again, if you don't know George, then speak to anybody from Canonical. No there. I, I don't know what he looks like, I've never met him. <laughs> Shall I invent one? Okay. Well, he's from. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, um, either find him, speak with Arwen, or speak with anybody from Canonical. Okay. They, they um, evening events. So, um, the, the evening events are basically on here. Um, there's just a, the, the main change, if, if anybody was to look at the UDS site and think, right, okay, well, I'll just go from that. The, the main difference is that Wednesday, 
Uh, we're taking you all out for dinner, um, for uh, uh, our celebration evening, and um, I'm really looking forward to that, actually. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a, um, basically a lot of information about uh, all the stuff that we've been doing over the past uh, year, uh, and we're going to sort of do a bit of recognition of some of the uh, really cool stuff that's been going on. The main thing is, don't organise anything that you want to last from 5 till 6 on Wednesday, because the bus, you need to get on it at 5.30, and if you're not on it by 5.45, you'll be left here, okay? And you'll miss a very nice meal, um, talking with some great people and all of that sort of stuff. So make sure you're on that bus. Uh, on Thursday, there's going to be um, a key signing party. I, th I think there was a, uh, an announcement that's now gone out about that. Uh, and that's going to be in Grand Sierra E. Uh, and the details that you need to bring uh, are there, or you can check your uh, email for that. Um, the, the, the team meals, uh, just, sorry, Lloyd. Like, You can't actually book any sessions because we've blocked you all out to do hacking. So you just need to remember to finish at 5.30. We're, we'll come round and drag you out, but don't arrange a specific session at 5 o'clock uh, because you'll get dragged out of that as well. And, uh, where, where is the bus uh, going to get people around? Yeah. Or in front of the no, the bus will leave from the front of the convention centre. Yeah. Um, Team meals, uh, I expect you'll probably go out for those Tuesday and Thursday because there's something going on tonight, Wednesday and Friday. Um, and we, we've got a, a list of restaurants that um, uh, we, we can recommend for uh, the various different places that the, the shuttle bus uh, drops you off in the evening. But the only thing that I'm just going to uh, let you know about, if so, some of these restaurants can have um, very exotic dishes, and if you want one of those, that's fine, um, but Lenaro won't expense those ones. Okay, so if you, if you choose a main meal that's under $20, uh, then, then that's fine. If you want to have one that's over $20, that's fine, but just pay for the bill uh, yourself um, at the end of the meal. Okay. Um, and for, for the team meals as well, you should just be able to get the, the buses that leave outside the hotel. There shouldn't be any need to organize special taxis or anything like that. There's a, it's a fantastic service that um, uh, Canonical lay on uh, for us. Uh, demos. So tonight, um, Matt, if he's sort of calmed down from getting all the monitors running, and Ricardo um, are going to be doing a, a couple of uh, demos at the, um, uh, the Meet and Greet event tonight. There's going to be a bunch of other demos from all of the other uh, sponsors uh, of UBO. So it should be uh, uh, very interesting evening. Um, the, the other thing that, that we thought would be quite cool to do is after the lightning talks on Friday um, to um, just have a, a sort of open hour uh, in the engineering rooms uh, where people can just drop by um, so you guys can go in and see what uh, some of the other groups have been up to this week um, but also anybody from uh, the UDS conference as well can come by and so if you've got any demos that you've, you've been working on or managed to get up and running uh, then just um, uh, have those running, have somebody uh, showcasing it, or just be around to, to answer questions and things like that. So, um, so it's just a very informal thing, but just a nice way of showcasing some of the stuff that we've been doing. Um, if anybody, though, wants to do a particular demo, then you've seen there's stacks of area out here, so um, we can easily set up and um, you know get a couple of posters around so that um, things are nice and visible for you. And you can um, have a demo running over lunch or um, sometime in the afternoon or morning or whatever. Oh, and that's it. Um, so over to Kika.